Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the Norwegian Pearl. Uh, this is a new to me technique that I'm getting better and better at little by little the more I practice. Let me demonstrate how I hold the yarn in my left hand. I wrap the yarn around my pinky, uh, grab it with my last three middle fingers and then bring the yarn up and around over my index finger like so. Uh, and this is what it looks like in the bottom. So let me do that again. Uh, around my pinky, grab the yarn up and over, up and around my index finger. And I'm in the position ready to begin Norwegian purling. If you are not familiar with continental knitting, uh, which is holding or knitting with the yarn in your left hand, you are probably familiar that the yarn goes in front. Even if you're an English knitter, the yarn generally goes in front of your work. But instead, for the Norwegian purl, you're going to want to bring the yarn in back of your work. You want to insert your right needle behind that yarn that's behind your work and then through the back of that next stitch on the left needle, twist your yarn, bring it around, under, over, and under, through, and pull that stitch off. That looked like a squiggle wiggle what Ella Stephen West. <laughs> you would come from behind and through, up and around, around, pull it over and under, and it really just becomes a game of trust. Like the quicker you go, you gotta trust that that needle's grabbing that yarn and it's gonna pull it through. So let me do that one more time. I'm gonna bring it around, around, grab it over, and under. Come from behind, around, over, and under, so yeah, it's it's a jazzy, it's a jazzy stitch. And I do find that when I hold my stitches as close as I can to the tips of the needles uh, without the stitches falling off, um, the quicker it is to execute this stitch. So that is the Norwegian Pearl, uh, and I find this super helpful. Um, especially if you are working with seed stitch or one by one rib or any, any type of rib stitch. Uh, it makes the transition between knit and purl so much quicker and seamless. Uh, it, it is virtually seamless because if you do, if you, I'll show you here, if you execute a knit stitch, knit, knit, you don't have to bring that yarn forward. You just keep that yarn behind the work and then do your Norwegian purl. So you can see how that comes in handy. Um, so I hope you found this super helpful. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe the video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you what you think. And happy knitting! I'll see you next time. Bye.